Here we go. Turn to the right, and we're heading to the casino. It's another day. Opportunities abound. As we head on in. We're going to play a lot of blackjack today. We're going to start upstairs. $15 table. We're going to hope to spin it up. You guys leave any money for me? You did? Well, thank you so much. They left it for me, all right. They added to it as well. Thank you, sir. We got the free mask. It's the mask of opportunity. Can't win if you don't play. We're going to get our temperature check. We won again. Are we cool today? What's the temp? 96? Ooh, I'm extra cool today, baby. Extra cool today. Makes me think that uh, we're not as safe as sound as they'd like us to believe. There's no way my temperature is 96. I'm at least 97. But they say I am cold-blooded at the poker table. All right, they're getting their cards. They're getting their floppy cards. Just so you guys know, we're going to teach you how not to be a floppy. All right? We were going to ask them, but... Floppies are people who don't, uh, don't understand the odds, don't understand how the game actually works, and yet continually, continuously, or continually put their money in. Not It's a compulsion. So we're going to do our best to avoid being a slot ploppy. Or any kind of ploppy for that matter. You don't want to be a ploppy. Because you can have the same fun. If everyone played blackjack perfectly properly they'd only make like 25 cents an hour off each person so at a ten dollar or fifteen dollar but no one does they're all fucking floppies <laughs> it's crazy what i see here even the people who think they know all right we got openings we're on it all right we're up 230 we've encountered the very rare super ploppy at this table and we're gonna zoom in on them these two are super ploppies this guy thinks he knows everything but he doesn't he's yelling at people for hitting 12 is against twos it's the most annoying type of ploppy there's no worse ploppy than that ploppy right there he's got the hoodie look at him reaching in for more money that's the kind of ploppy you never want to be. It's like the 12th time he's reached into his pocket. That is the ultimate ploppy. Slot ploppy. Whoa. All right, so we're up 500. And I think we're done playing blackjack. Everything's 25 now. We had to sit out quite a bit. I even played a couple hands just for cover because I was I was really nailing it. I was sitting out and then when I was playing, I was winning a lot. I was betting a shitload. So just for cover, I played another hand or two. And uh, yeah, people were, it was pretty fun. People were like, dude, what should I do? What should I do? Everyone was asking me because uh, you know, with the with the deviations, you can really look good when uh, you go against the book or you are what people think is the book, you know, for, for that or when you actually follow the book and uh, the, card, the cards are right, you know. When it's a bit negative, you want to hit shit you wouldn't normally hit. And you want to double... A little less frequently. Were you guys big winners? 
<laughs> Don't be like them. Were you guys big winners? Not today. <laughs> oh man, next time. Were you a big winner? No. Uh -huh. Were you guys big winners? Uh, yes. Yeah. Right on. Were you guys big winners? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I don't believe him. Were you a big winner, sir? No. no. Were you a big winner? No. Oh, no. Can I straddle? Royal flush. Two players, me and my man number 12. The big bat takes it down. Oh, so you can't record. Huh? You can't record. Oh, okay. Thanks. So we couldn't record it, but... We took home 12 hundy. 12 and change, I think. 12 and change, so... Bought in for 300. Walking out with 12 and change. So a good 900 plus plus afternoon at the Hard Rock Hotel.